This is the third car garage at my Uncle Blair's house. It's been designated as the shop area, but currently it's entirely unusable. The goal for this video is to get this place cleaned up and turn it into a functional workspace where we can work on bikes, skis, and everything else. It took us a total of around 10 hours to get this place cleaned and organized, but thanks to the power of editing, we can turn this 10 hours into just a few minutes of video. Okay, so it is day two on the shop sort of reorganization, reconstruction work. And last night I had to leave for a sister's birthday party, so we didn't get it all the way finished. Um, can I just kind of restructure the uh, desk and working area? Need to organize the rest of this. Need to do something with that. That's a piece to an old headboard that was uh, attached to the wall in the house. Need to do something with that, either repurpose it or get rid of it. Um, got some more stuff around here that needs to be organized. Still have the dog kennels which are outside the garage door. Those need to be brought back in. We need to find a new place for those. I'm thinking up against that wall. Um, yeah, so day two, hopefully we finish this thing out. We also have a pegboard back there. Not sure if you can see it back there, but we're gonna try to put that up on the backsplash behind the uh, workbench. That way we can hang tools and stuff back there. So hopefully we get all that stuff done. Let's do it. So it is about probably 11 o'clock at night and I just finished, well, I finished work on the garage part a little while ago, but I've been running errands and doing some last minute touch ups and stuff on the garage and the shop. Everything looks good, uh, much better than it did. Um, the space is now pretty usable. So I'll show you guys a little bit of what I did and uh, yeah, here we go. waxing system or ski and or snowboard waxing system where you can put a ski or snowboard on here clamp it down gently using the vise and then you can wax and work on or ski or snowboard so last project thing I'm going to take care of for the night and then pack it up and get some sleep Show you what you need to 
this is sort of the system that I've come up with for getting skis and snowboards and whatever done on this bench here. Uh, come up into this cabinet here, pop out these blocks that I've made, one here in the back, one up here in the front, and kind of the way it is. Got these little socks made of old uh, inner tube rubber tire. Put this on the vise, that way the uh, metal vise doesn't scratch up my skis or my bindings. And we're ready to clamp down. Pop the ski in here. Sets down there and there. Scoot this one a little bit farther back maybe. Put the ski in here. Press it down so the binding is uh, caught in there. Tighten up the vise. And bam! Ready to whack some skis. Here, I'll uh, give you guys another clamp down there. Vice with the little rubber socks on it so that my bindings don't get scratched. Back here we got the other block and this thing is sturdy. It is not going anywhere so you can throw on wax, you can sharpen edges, do kind of whatever you want with this thing and yeah, had pretty not a not a very difficult time putting it together. Just some uh, just some two by twos glued on top of each other with some epoxy and then screwed it onto a flat wood base so that they don't wobble around when you use them. And then, I mean, I'm lucky that I have a bench vise. Because uh, if you don't have a bench vise, this build would be a lot more difficult. Um, so I would not recommend this build to people if you don't have a bench vise. I just, I would just go out and buy a normal, uh, Normal ski, downhill ski vice, downhill ski vice set, I guess. You know, you can get them for like a hundred bucks online or at REI or wherever, so. I think that's pretty much the end for this uh, little tutorial. Next video, I'm gonna do gear talk. So, have a good one, you guys.